What's up guys? We are doing our first treasure hunt in here. So this is the Jack Hall Gang treasure. So we will be doing the treasure guide here, the locations and everything. So to get the first part, you will need to go next to next to Flat Neck Station and you'll see where you can find a stranger. Yeah. Silly horse. Or is that me that was silly? <laughs> Either way. So to get where you're going to, Valentine, as you can see on the map, is just above your camp. Flatneck Station is just underneath your camp. And to the left of Flatneck Station, here is where you will find the first person that you will need to get the, the map. So you approach him and have a word with him. He'll tell you to come over and he will offer you this map for $10. Now you can decline it as I did. And if you do so, you will then drop the price to $5. So you don't have to spend 10. Uh, I bought it then for half price. If you want, there is the option to rob him. That's up to you again, but I'm trying to be honorable, trying. It isn't working out on, on certain occasions. <laughs> and he'll give you this map. Now, to me, this map is like, what the hell is this? Where am I supposed to be going? This map is huge. The, the, you know, the scale of it. How am I supposed to know where that is? Either way, we found it out. And it is at Caliban's seat. So make your way over to this area here. Once there, you want to get up to the top of the hill or whatever you want to call it, and you will see a campsite just across the way. So from that campsite, make your way down here. You can be as fashionable as I did and make your way down in style and go across this ridge. You will have to make a bit of a jump once you get to this area here. Make sure you don't fall down. It's not nice getting back up. I didn't make that fall though. You've seen me fall twice already. I didn't make that fall. Head on up to this rock up here. Um, once you get up here, it's just a matter of going across again to the furthest point, make this little bit of a drop, and you will find a bit of a crevice or whatever you want to call it um, in the rock form. Search here. You'll get the option to search, and you will get your next map. So this one is, again, another one of these maps that you can look at and say, where on earth am I supposed to be going with that? But that's what we're here for, to make sure that everyone knows where they're going in order to find this treasure. So it doesn't really give you much to go off. But from here, basically, you will be heading on over just above Valentine. Make your way over to Kotora Springs from using that map. Once you've done that, you'll be next to these geysers or whatever you want to call them make sure you take a gun with you i you know decided to take my shotgun with me because i did see a couple of wolves i was thinking mm, better to be safe than sorry and make your way over to some of the rock formations you will see just past the rest of these geysers and living springs live springs living what the something wrong with me today Anyway, this rock here in the middle of the rock forms is where you will search for your next location. So once you've got that, it's another one of those where am I going moments. But we're here to figure that out. It's simple as that. We're going to make, make our way back to our horse. What was his problem? I do not know. Uh, anyway, back onto the horse. And we're going to head off to our next location to find this treasure. So the map basically directs you to this area here oh crayers run or again I, I don't know how you pronounce it but that's how i'm pronouncing it oh crayers run once you make your way over here it's a matter of swimming to an island in the middle of the lake straight forward make your way over there and make your way over just to the side and you will see something that says examine and it's about lifting up the, the rock which is near the water and here you will find two gold bars and now you have your treasure which you can sell for one thousand dollars which is pretty nice so that's it hey i have not been on my horse very well this bloody mission at all but hey ho nice one guys take it easy and i hope you enjoyed that let me know and i'll catch you on the next one peace